So let's make seared tuna. I have ahi tuna and I have some bluefin. Uh, this bluefin tuna cut is a chotoro cut, which is really my favorite because it has a kami and the otoro parts of it. That's what this blue and white section is. Let's go ahead and make this. I use our citrus pepper rub and I take the tuna and I just roll it around on all sides in our citrus pepper rub. Just like that, just coat it. Same thing with the bluefin. The citrus pepper kind of tastes like a lemon pepper that we make. Uh, it has got a little bit of spice to it, not a lot, but it's really the ideal spice for a uh, searing tuna. I've never had a better uh, seared tuna before. Great, that's the prep work. Really, really easy. Now let's get to cooking. This is super easy. This is one of my favorite recipes. I have a preheated pan on high heat. It's been heating for a couple minutes. Now I'm gonna use a non-stick cooking spray right before I'm gonna put the tuna on. So how do you know if your pan's hot enough? That's a great question. Well, we're gonna about to find out. You're gonna hear a sizzle, right? So with seared tuna, it only takes about 30 seconds to a minute on each side. It will start to cook really quickly. So depending on how raw you want it in the middle or rare, uh, you would have it have less time on there. But both on the bluefin tuna and on the ahi tuna, you can already start seeing that it's starting to inch up and become wider. I typically like to have maybe, I don't know, an eighth of an inch um, actually cooked on the outside, and I like to have a lot more of it raw in the middle. But it's been about 30 seconds, I'd say, to a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. Excellent. Then what I like to do is I like to take my tongs and sear it for a couple seconds on the other sides. Now we're gonna slice. I like mine more uh, with more of the rare part. If you wanted to have a little less of it rare, you would have cooked it a little bit longer. So this is gonna be the ahi tuna. I might have to eat one of these pieces myself. I think I'm gonna do that. Sorry. And this, my friends, is the bluefin. It is so delicious. So the really white parts here, that's gonna be the otoro, which is incredible. The best tuna you can get in the world. And then as I'm slicing, you'll see it should start to turn a little darker. And that's then going to be more of the akami part of it right there, if you can see that. And that's why I really like the chotoro, because you really get two different types of tuna. When you get to the very end, you can see that it's more similar in color to the ahi. Got to eat this too. Incredible. Bluefin seared tuna and ahi seared tuna. Sorry for eating in front of you, it was delicious. <laughs>